Good morning, traders. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Thomas Ryan. I am the founder and trader and publisher of our daily weekly newsletters, a daily and weekly a trading swing trading opportunity letter, which we publish every day, every, about 200 market days a year, Monday through Friday, every market day. And uh, if you'd like a free subscription, please feel free to stop by and join us for that. Uh, I'm going to show you today uh, not a trade. We usually do trades in these videos. Today I thought I'd show you TC2000, which is the research platform that we use uh, to find the trades. It's a phenomenal platform. They don't pay me to say this, but I know there's a lot of you out there who are maybe giving it a try. Uh, it seems overwhelming if you're just beginning with it and you want to learn maybe a couple of quick ways to do some simple things. My best advice to you would be, um, first of all, I'm, I'm a technical trader. That's what we do. Um, I use this because it's a great technical trading tool because you can search on any time frame for any technical condition that you'd like to find. But it also does fundamental analysis if you uh, want to look at that too. So I thought what I'd show you today is a couple of simple screeners or scans as they call them, easy scans. This one I'm just looking for volume which is at a new three-day low because I'm looking at short-term daily or intraday trades. I want to find stocks which are poised in this case to potentially go short. And because they, you know the market's overbought, we are in a counter uptrend right now. It's October the 28th, 2015. We're in this counter uptrend. I don't think anybody really knows where the market is in general is headed. I, I have a short bias myself, but I have a short bias in general, as I think a lot of you do too. A lot of traders have short biases. It's um, it's probably a bad habit, something I wish I didn't have, but but I do. So we try and deal with it, and uh, I want to find effective positions that are going to be ready to fulfill. Uh, right now what I think is a short generally short market so um, this is a, a very simple scan it's very easy to be amazed at the capabilities of TC2000 and start looking at all the software look at all this incredible stuff you can do and what you end up doing is you end up kind of over filtering over screening for too much stuff and you will miss things so the best thing I can tell you to do is do simple screens and then let the human eye take over for the opportunities that you're looking for. So here's one. We're going to screen the Standard & Poor's 500 components and we're going to look for stocks which are at a new low, a new daily low. So how do we get to that? Um, well, the amazing thing about TC2000 is you go right here. This is my daily chart. This is my everyday setup, monthly, weekly, daily, oops, daily, hourly, and one minute in this case. I'm going to switch that back over to 10 minutes because normally I keep 10 minutes up there. Um, if you've uh, read anything about trading, uh, I follow the system uh, which was introduced to me in the book uh, Trading for a Living by uh, uh, Dr. Elder who talks about, I think, derivatives from the Dow theory which is that everything is separated by a factor of five roughly. So four is divided by four weeks in a month, five days in a week, um, about what five hours in a trading day and uh, six ten minute segments in an hour so everything is five or six units apart from each other and uh, so what I'm looking for here is daily daily is on the stochastic I want to create a scan condition let's start do that again so you can see it stock stochastic here's my stochastic I'm gonna do a right click on that create scan condition left click and now it calls up this menu. So I'm looking for the stochastic 5 to be greater than, let's say, 80. Scan a new window. And now we have a list of stocks. I'm going to switch this over here from my other screener group to the S&P 500. So we're now scanning the S&P 500 for, st for stocks that have a stochastic over 80. So I'm going to um, skip that right now. Let's go back to my one that's already done here. It's like a cooking show, isn't it? We're going to pull this out of the oven right now and show you what this is. So right now we're at a three-day low. Sorry, I did the wrong one here. Let's do the, go back to volume. So we can go to volume. Click on volume. Right-click on volume. Create scan condition. Greater than. And this one would be, we're going to use this tool here, which is new high or new low. New low on volume over three days scan a new window. There they are. So all these stocks have hit a new low the last few days. OK, 
Okay, so here it is right here. Volume is at a new three-day low. Click on scan. Now here are all the stocks in the S&P 500 that are at new three-day lows. If we click on this little thing right here, we will rescan. Last scan I did was at 12 whatever, and now it's at 1249, which is right now. So the stock is now, Facebook is still overbought. I added this, let's show you how you do that too. Stochastic, copy to watch list. Left click, add a column. We'll put it over here to show you how. There, I just added the column. So now I've got the stochastics on this page. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get rid of this, edit this out of here because I already have it. This one. So I find one of the things that's great to do is you create your scan based on whatever criteria you want, the fewer the better. And then when you go into your scan, you add another secondary scan over here, but it's not a scan now, it's just a column rank. So I'm looking for stocks that are overbought, starting at number 93, I can click it up or down, there. So I'm starting at 95, there's a new one. Abbott Labs is overbought. And indeed it is, it's in our newsletter right now, and it's been running up um, pretty nicely. So I like that, we're making more money with Abbott Labs. Um, so Abbott Labs is overbought, but the volume is decreasing. And yes, it is because we got into Abbott Labs. I think it was down about right about here on the weekly chart. So right about here. And we're taking this breakout. So we've ridden up this last few days. And guess what? This is probably going to be coming to an end here at some point. Do we want to short it? Um, I would say, well, maybe, but not particularly. The reason that we went long with this stock was the power of this right here. Abbott Labs has a very strong uptrend and it's taken a big hit as a lot of the pharmas have. So it may have been overdone and in fact it was overdone. So it was coming back. We took it somewhere near this cross of this MACD here. Things are turning around. It's over. It's sitting on this moving average. So we took it as a long trade on the weekly side right about in here and it worked out just fine. And it's still moving up today. But um, we... Uh, that, that's you know how much further is it going to go probably not too much further we don't see a narrowing range yet which is you know the other critical factor but it's coming up on these averages in here so there's a good chance when it gets up into these averages um, maybe this 200 day moving average right here it's going to stop out so this is a, a candidate for a potential short position but you know not today Facebook uh, same thing now we see declining volume this rally is running out of gas, and it's, going, it's way overbought. It's going to come down at some point. Today, I don't know. But that's a, that's a, that's a sh very simple, very easy to do scan that would give you a list of, in this case, uh, well, a lot of stocks. You probably, if you want to go down here, you probably want to, you might drop this stochastic down a little bit. So maybe you go down into the, in the 80s, 87. <clears throat> and add some more factors in, like you want to see a stock that's in a downtrend if you're going to try and short it, or it's just a, exceedingly overbought. Um, Electronic Arts is one I've been watching for a while. You've got a uh, you got a divergence shaping up here, potential double top, many days up, running out of volume. So this stock, uh, EA, would be a short candidate. I don't know that you would say EA has probably got a lot of running room if it goes short but it will be dropping at some point <clears throat> we'll go down we, you know i just keep put put my pointer here over on the list on the stock and then uh, just hit my down button on my keyboard and i'm going to start running through this list and see what i find in here okay here's microsoft yep microsoft is definitely teed up for a drop all kinds of things going wrong with microsoft this is on a major divergence here it's sitting way 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 up here this thing is divergent um you know no, these aren't too too out of line, but it had, I guess, some strong earnings. I didn't see it, but, you know, it's going to come back down and fill some of this gap in here. wouldn't surprise me if it began a long, slow decline back down into this range at some point. Um, it's just too far out of line. Um, Baxter International, you know, here's another one. This is if you're more comfortable with this, and, and generally this is what we like to do. We want to trade things that are with the trend. So this um, stock has gone straight up into this downtrend right in here. Baxter, you know, I, I, it's hard to say because this one's so oversold down here. 
um, but it is in a downtrend and it's now overbought running out of volume so very low volume look at that that is probably gonna probably gonna drop at some point I find that I think when you are doing these things they, they're they're harder to call but when you pick stocks that are very high above their averages like this and you are very patient with them and waiting for waiting for the turn uh, you will find stocks that probably have longer to run but you're gonna have to sit and wait on them uh, I'm currently personally short this stock IPG Interpublic Group that's an advertising company um, this is in a huge divergence you see this look at this this stock has been divergent since about 18 bucks and it's divergent in all time frames it's had a huge run up here this thing is still very powerful it could run a little further but everything is overbought and everything is divergent on this stock so I'm expecting that any day now it's gonna start its uh, it's gonna start its turn down and this you know potentially shaping up as a double top here um, so anyway that's my three-day low and, and you know I think you have to add all of these things in although I hate to fi uh, filter or scan for all of them but you have to add all of these into your trade when you are looking for those opportunities all the time frames all the signals but a good starting point is a three-day low volume after a long run up hope you've enjoyed that hope that's helpful to you um, we're gonna do some more of these about how to use TC 2000 you'll see um, You'll, you'll see some other ideas about how to do these scans in the next couple of days. Thanks.